Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a little video. This is going to be my impressions, I guess you can say, about Destiny, and also, you know, everything that's really worked up to this point now. Uh, because in case you all don't know, I've actually had a few issues, <laughs> lightly speaking, when it comes to Destiny connecting online. Now, if I do sound a little bit different, um... Hopefully, I don't sound too different, but it is because, unfortunately, I am sick, although it's not nearly as bad as it was this summer. Uh, I actually haven't even said what I got over the summer, but over the summer, I got, like, a cold, and then I got a worse cold, and then I got pink eye, and I lost my voice at the same time, so it was really bad. But now, I just have, like, a light cold, and I swear it's from the weather, just changing seasons all up and down like crazy and all that. So, it's really cold over here now, but it's just, I know my voice is going to sound a little bit different, so just bear with me on this video. Anyways, first off, before I get into the actual impressions, I'm going to talk about, you know, the delay with Destiny that I've had. Well, in case you all don't already know, if you look at my last few videos, I've had a few connection issues. I was having issues with the Centipede Air, and the reason being for this is that I run off a university connection. I live in an apartment complex that is owned by the university, and we use the university's internet. Now, the way Destiny works is that it has peer-to-peer -peer style traffic with uh, the way you communicate and play with other people, and how you even just start the game in general. The problem with that would be, although not many games have, this is all, honestly the only game I and many others online and at other campuses have had, this is really the only game that has not worked. Uh, you would literally try and start the game, and it would just give you the centipede error, but check it out, if you look on screen, it's working now, so I had to show this here. <laughs> Anyways... When it came all down to it, uh, let's see, on Tuesday we were having that air, and I actually had to go over to a friend's house and play it, so my playtime's been a bit limited on this. I only played for about, well, only, it feels like I played for a while, I played for three hours over at a friend's house, and I was trying not to intrude, because I was trying to, I only plan on staying for like two, but I stayed for another hour on accident, just because that happens when you play this game, your hours just melt away like crazy when you play the game. And my friends were telling me, oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, no, you're not worrying us, don't worry, you can just, just play the game, you're okay. I'm like, I, I, just, I feel bad, you know, coming over just to, you know, play a video game. Like, my own video game, not even your games or anything. <laughs> but uh, that happened, and then on Wednesday, I actually had to tether, but uh, I got the game working, I was able to play a little bit of it. Then on Thursday, uh, I was actually helping out uh, Campus IT here a little bit. I'd actually offered to even lend them out a system with a copy of Destiny, uh, but they already got a system before me. They accepted my offer, but then somebody else brought in their system, so they were able to do it, and they said, you know, it wasn't going to be an easy fix, but applaud to these guys, because on Wednesday, they told me it wasn't going to be an easy fix. On Thursday, uh, they asked if it would be okay to call me, like, late that night at, like, 10 o'clock. They called me up, and they said, hey, we just rolled out a fix for Destiny. We want to test to make sure it works. Please sign into Destiny, and I was able to, and... It works, so uh, I've gotten a decent amount into it, actually, but at the same time, it's like you have to realize I'm playing on two different systems. I'm playing on the 360, I'm playing on the PS4, and in addition to all that, I have three characters now. Uh, I have two hunters and I have a warlock. I tried warlock on 360, and I'll say with me and warlock, nothing has changed since alpha. I really don't like the warlock class. For me, the warlock class, I don't know. I just, I don't like the weapons that much. I don't like how it seems a bit slower compared to the other classes, and whenever I attack enemies, I just don't feel like I'm doing enough damage as I should be, so maybe I'm just playing it wrong. I have no idea, but I'm just not a big fan of the Warlock class. Now, getting into that, here are my first impressions of Destiny. Now, technically, this is kind of my third impressions because I have played it in Alpha, I've played it in Beta, and I've played it in Retail, so the nice thing is I'm able to compare between all the two, and I'll be doing that a little bit, so please bear with me on that. Now... I will say this, the first time I ever played the game, I played in Alpha, of course, and I did not like it that much, I'll be honest, uh, I wasn't that impressed, and I'm like, this, no, this game has so much work, man, like, <laughs> there is no way this game is gonna be ready to retail, and by that I mean it just felt very disjointed, I wanna say it didn't, it, it was Alpha, so I mean, I understand that, but it didn't even really have that much of a fun factor to it, it just felt like there were a decent amount of issues, I don't know, like, it, it was just all iffy, and really, the beta cleared up a lot of that. Uh, the beta, they actually gave you a tutorial, uh, they told you what to do, they held your hand a little bit through it. 
really between the alpha and beta, it was it was a night and day difference. Now the game by and large did play the same, about the same, and I feel like it was optimized even more. And I will say like it's it's been optimized perfectly on the retail version, in my opinion. However, going from alpha to beta, you know, in the alpha, they literally they threw you in there. Uh, no instructions, really nothing. They really didn't try and help you out. They would throw you in. That was about it. When it came to beta, they actually helped you out. Now, to anybody who has played the beta, which was a lot of people, you might be wondering, well, I liked or I didn't like the beta. Uh, how would that sway my opinion of the retail copy of this, the final version? I'll say this. If you liked the beta, you will like the game itself. If you didn't like the beta, you're not going to like the game. Uh, the beta was actually an extremely accurate representation of the final product we got. Uh, and in fact, when I say it is a little better, and when I say it's better, I mean it's better as in it handles better, it performs better. Aside from that though, the gameplay, the storyline, the way the game works itself, the controls, the menus, everything like that works the same, really, uh, between beta and retail. So if you did not, as I said, if you didn't like the beta, the game's just not going to be for you. I'm sorry, but if you like the alpha, no, not the alpha, excuse me. If you liked, if you liked the beta, if you really liked it, uh, then you'll probably really like the game. Now, I'll say this. The game is fun. I really do enjoy it. However, uh, there are a few, you know, iffy things I have. Like, first off, you need to know this. It is an online-only game. Now, you just need an online connection. There are a few exclusive missions, such as I'm assuming raids are going to be in this. Uh, strikes are also behind a paywall. But you're going to have to pay for PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live if you want to play with other people. But if you just want to play the game itself, you will need access to either PlayStation Plus, no, uh, PlayStation Network, excuse me, and Xbox Live. Uh, that is one thing that a lot of people didn't know until the game was just about to come out. So you really do not have an option of playing, you know, offline or single player at all. Uh, even if you do play solo, you never partner up with anyone, you're still going to have people in the real game world running around you. That w just seemed a little bit troublesome because, I mean, I do want to see the story of what's going on. But also, you know, for people such as myself, when we had internet connectivity issues and all that, it's like, well, great, you know. What if there's somebody who does have internet issues and they're not able to get online with us or their firewall is blocking them from playing Destiny? Well, they just kind of purchased, you know, a $60, $65 shiny disc that they can use as a coaster. That's about it. Aside from that, if you get into the game and you play it, I think it's been very well done. I think it was very well crafted. Everything feels just about right. Although, uh, I will say, uh, when it comes to controls, the sensitivity is so low. The default sensitivity, you just, you feel like a tank. Like, I have to bump up the sensitivity by at least, like, four, at minimum, to just to make it playable. But, no, the regular sensitivity, it's at, like, a three or a four, or something like that. I think it's a, might be a three. And it is just so slow with how it's set up, but... The vehicles, they handle very well. The missions, you know, they keep you entertained. As I said, though, it's very good if you, you know, keep playing it with friends. Although, there is repetition. The enemies are huge bullet sponges. They really are. Uh, you'll dump entire clips into enemies. Uh, it's a lot of the same repetition when you're fighting enemies, when you're doing missions. Especially the missions where you have to run around Earth or you run around the moon uh, doing this and that. Uh, when you pick, there's specific story missions you could do, but there's also missions you could do just to get XP and everything, where it's like, collect this, collect that, and oh my god, the one on Earth, I, I just, I hate those ones so much, because it seems like you go between, there's these two huge buildings, and it seems like every single time you go through one to access a mission, the mission says, oh, you have to go through this building you just came through to go to the other side, and once you do that for like an hour, oh my goodness, it is the most annoying thing ever. Like, you're just like, I don't want to see these buildings anymore. Now, I know I haven't been super detailed with this, and that's because, you know, it's not a full review, it's just my short first impressions, and I wanted to make it a short video, just so you all would, you know, be able to get in and get out, all that good stuff. However, uh, this is one thing I did want to talk about as well. Destiny is probably the second most overhyped game I've ever played. I'm not saying it's a bad game, I mean, I've been mostly praising it this time, but the most overhyped game I've ever played was The Last of Us, and I, I, have, I have stuff to say about that game, but this is not about The Last of Us, this is about Destiny. Now, when it comes to Destiny... If I could give it a review score right now, uh, and keep in mind, I haven't finished it or anything, I'm really not super far into it, I would give it a 7, maybe. I, that, that's what I feel comfortable giving it. M maybe on a good day, an 8, but a 7 would work out. I mean, 
people are wanting this to be like a replacement Borderlands, and I, I'll say this, I like it more than Borderlands. I've never been a Borderlands fan, you know, the, the art style I think is cool, the story seems interesting, the dialogue's funny, the characters seem awesome, but I don't know, like, it's just Borderlands has all the cool stuff, and then I sit down and play it, and I don't enjoy it that much. Really, the only times I've really enjoyed it are just if I'm playing with friends, and that's more because I'm playing with friends over I'm playing Borderlands with friends, but... What, you know, whatever it is, I've 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 played a decent amount of Borderlands well, too, and I'll say, you know, Destiny, I guess it's kind of comparable, but I I like it more. Although, it's just, it's it's a good game. It's an average to good game. It's really nothing excellent. It's nothing astounding. You can definitely tell Bungie put a lot of effort into it. Uh, if you're going to be picking it up on a system, I'd say it's actually, I'm playing the 360 copy and the PS4 copy, so I'm literally playing the worst and best versions of it. And I'll say this, um, really the only difference between them is, aside from, you know, the exclusive DLC that's going to come out, the PS4 version looks better. They both handle the same, they both work quite well, so if you're forced to get a last-gen copy, you're really not going to be missing out on much, aside from, you know, prettier graphics. Although, I would recommend, if you buy it digitally on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live, you get the next-gen version upgraded for free. So, you buy the PS3 version, you get the PS4 copy for free, and vice versa, you know, with the Xbox, well, the Xbox 360, not technically vice versa, but you buy the 360 copy online, you get the Xbox One copy for free as well. So, it works out for anybody who wants to play Destiny now, but they think they're going to be getting the game, you know, in the future for another system, or they're going to be getting a new system. Now, another thing is, does this game really justify a $60 price tag? You, you know, I kind of knew this going into it, and I picked it up because, you know, I wanted to play it. I didn't mind. And there's going to be one other question I'm going to have at the end of this, but honestly, I, I really don't think it does. And there might be some people, you know, to a decent amount of people, $60 really isn't much, but to other people, $60 is a lot. And I'll say, you know, put yourself in shoes like this. I thought of this, you know, because I, I graduated high school a few years ago, but a high school, let's say you're working at McDonald's, you're making minimum wage. In the U.S., that's $7.25 an hour. I mean, do the simple math here, and you work an eight-hour shift, and that's not enough to get a game. That's not enough to get Destiny, you know? You're not going to be making $65, especially after taxes. Uh, but even before taxes, you're not going to be making that much. So, you know, these games are expensive, but does it justify a $60 price tag? I really don't think so. I don't feel like, I, I just, I don't see $60 worth of enjoyment, $60 worth of content out of it. There's going to be more downloadable content coming out, but that downloadable content you're going to have to pay more money for. You can get this season pass for what, like $30, $35, something like that. Aside from that, I mean, I would, I'd would, i feel comfortable if it was like $40. I'd say scoop this game up right now. I think that's an excellent price for it, but there's other games. Like, there's so many games out there that just do not justify $60 price tag, and the ones that do are far and few in between. Uh, the last game I could really justify it for was... Grand Theft Auto V, for example, I felt like I got more than, you know, $65 worth of enjoyment out of that title. But when it comes to Destiny, you know, I'm, I'm just not seeing it there personally. And, you know, as I said, I have two copies of the game. So uh, the reason why I'm doing that also as well is because I have friends that play it on 360. So I want to play it with them. I have friends that are going to play it on PS4. I'm going to play it with them. And also the PS4 version is going to get some more support. So I wanted that as well. But if you could choose a copy, what would you get? I guess, you know... Sony's really banking on it. The PS4 version, it works out great, but if you don't get the PS4 version or the PS4, you're, you're still going to be okay. It's not like your game's going to be completely terrible. Now, I feel like the next-gen versions could have been even better in terms of performance, in terms of handling. I feel like, you know, 60 frames a second could have easily been achieved. However, 30 frames a second is the universal thing on all consoles, and I just feel like that's because of parity, because uh, they didn't want the last-gen people to, you know, feel completely left out or cheapened, you know, getting a last-gen copy of Destiny. And, I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, eh, you know, the last-gen copies kind of held it back is what it seems like. Now, the question I have, you know, the people who love Destiny, I'm sure they've, you know, thumbs down this video by now, but if you're at the end of the video, here's a question, and I saw this online. If this game was not by Bungie, would we even be paying attention to it? Because personally, I, I don't really know if I would. <laughs> I mean, I, I wanted, I was very interested in the game because it was Bungie. Bungie's made excellent titles before. But let's say it was like some brand new studio that popped up and they were making this game and it was the exact same game. Wouldn't we be harder on them? Do you think so? I think we would be harder on them. I think the game wouldn't get as much attention. It wouldn't get as many, uh, you know, pre-orders. 
wouldn't get as much press overall. I think it would get slammed into the ground personally, but I feel like this game is getting so many free passes just because it's Bungie. But I want to hear your thoughts on that as well. And if you have the game, how, how are you enjoying it? Because as I said, I am enjoying the game. I just don't feel like it is the second coming of video games. I don't feel like it's going to be, you know, game of the year material for 2014. Those are my thoughts on it, at least. But, I mean, I would still recommend it. I think if you're okay with the terms and conditions I threw up, it will be a solid game. You'll enjoy the experience, and you should be good to go. I would highly recommend playing it with friends as well, too, because it's it's playable. It's playable by yourself, but it's more fun with friends. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.